Hey there guys, welcome back. Let's see another question that was asked in TCS and QT exam. So let's see the question. The problem statement says that selection of MPCS exams includes a fitness test which was conducted on ground. There will be a batch of three trainees appearing for running test in track for three rounds. So in a batch we have three trainees and for each batch we will have three rounds. Okay. You need to record their oxygen level after each round. After trainee are finished with all rounds, calculate for each trainee his average oxygen level over the three rounds and select one with highest oxygen level as the most fit trainee. If more than one trainee attains the same highest average level, they all need to be selected. Okay, so we have three trainees and for each trainee we have three rounds. So suppose we have batch 1. In this batch we have trainee T1, trainee T2 and trainee T3. And for this batch we will have three rounds. So suppose this is round 1. Then we will have round 2 and round 3. Okay. Display the most fit trainee or trainees and the highest average oxygen level okay note the oxygen value entered should not be accepted if it is not in the range between 1 to 100 okay so the oxygen level should be in the range 1 to 100 okay if the calculated maximum average oxygen value of trainee is below 70 then declare the trainee as unfit with meaningful message as all trainees are unfit okay so for these three rounds we have to find the average oxygen level of each trainee so suppose for round one we have t1 t2 and t3 and for round two we have t1 t2 t3 and for round three we have t1 t2 and t3 so in all the rounds we will get the different oxygen levels for each trainee so we have to take the average so for average of trainee 1 will be t1 plus t1 plus t1 oxygen level of trainee 1 in first round plus oxygen level of trainee 1 in second round plus oxygen level of trainee 1 in the third round divided by 3 this is how we take average right and we have to do this for all the three trainees and if this average value is less than 70 then the trainee is unfit okay and here it is also written that average oxygen values should be rounded okay so we don't have to give the output in decimal form okay we have to round the decimal if we will get any decimal so for example if our input values are 95 92 95 so this is 95 92 95 this is the oxygen level of trainee 1 trainee 2 and trainee 3 in the round 1 for next round we have 92 90 and 92 so 92 is the oxygen level of trainee 1 in round 2 90 is the oxygen level of trainee 2 in round 2 and 92 is the oxygen level of trainee 3 in round 2. Similarly for round 3 we have 90, 92 and 90. Okay. So this is our input and our output value is. Here output is trainee number 1 and trainee number 3. So for trainee 1 and trainee 3 we are having the highest oxygen level. And they are also equal. So that's why our output here is trainee number 1 and trainee number 3. Both of them have the highest level and they are equal. Input should be 9 integer values representing oxygen levels enter in order as round 1, oxygen value of trainee 1, oxygen value of trainee 2 and oxygen value of trainee 3. This is the representation of input. Okay, so that I have already told you. For round 2, oxygen level of trainee 1, oxygen level of trainee 2, oxygen level of trainee 3. And for round 3, oxygen level of trainee 1, oxygen level of trainee 2 and oxygen level of trainee 3. Okay. 
output must be in given format as in above example for any wrong input final output should display invalid input okay so here what our idea is we'll first of all store the oxygen level of round 1 for all the three trainees in a single array then we'll store the oxygen values of all the three trainees for round 2 in another array and then we'll store the oxygen values of the three trainees for round 3 in a separate array so here we'll require three arrays for the three rounds okay then we'll find the average of first value of array 1 array 2 and array 3 then the average value of the second element and then the average value of third element okay so let's see this in code here we have a class mpcs and here i'll create a method static void fittest trainee and here i'll pass three parameters these are int array for round one round two and round three so int array r1 comma int array r2 comma int array r3 and to store the average oxygen value of all the three trainees here we'll initialize our new array which will be of length 3 so int array let's name this array fittest equal to new int 3 now i'll use here for loop for int i equal to 0 i less than 3 i plus plus and here we have to check if the entered oxygen value is between 1 to 100 so if r1 i is less than 1 or r1 i greater than 101 or r2 i less than 1 or r2 i greater than 101 or r3i less than 1 or r3i greater than 101 then we have to print invalid input so system.out.println invalid input and if we have invalid input then there is no sense to check the fittest trainee will simply move out of the loop so here we'll use break and if this is not the case then else fittest i is equal to r1 i plus r2 i plus r3 i divided by 3 and now we'll check for the fittest trainee so here i'll use a helper variable int max equal to integer dot min value so currently r max is minimum value of the integer okay and we'll use here for loop for int i equal to 0 i less than 3 i plus plus if max is less than fittest of i then max is equal to fittest i okay and now we have to check if we got more than one fittest trainee so we'll again use a for loop for int i equal to zero i less than three i plus plus if max is equal to fittest i if max is equal to fittest i then system dot out dot print ln trainee number plus 
i plus 1 okay so here we have started with index 0 so we'll increase 1 in the training number okay and if fittest i is less than 70 then system dot out dot print ln trainee plus trainee is unfit and trainee i plus one trainee i plus one is unfit okay so i think here we have covered all the test cases now let's write the driver code scanner s equal to new scanner system dot in firstly we'll initialize the three arrays r1 r2 and r3 so int r1 equal to new int array length will be three because we have three trainee at a time okay and r2 and r3 and we'll use for loop to take the input for int i equal to 0 i less than 3 i plus plus r1 i equal to sc dot next int and we'll do this for r2 and r3 also And now we'll call the method fittest trainee. So fittest trainee and we'll pass here R1, R2 and R3. And we'll import the scanner class. So import java.util.scanner. Now let's run this code java c mpcs dot java okay so the code is compiled successfully now let's run java mpcs so first let's input 95 92 95 92 90 okay so our output is trainee number one trainee number three okay so we are getting the desired output our code seems correct and that's it for this video we'll see more problems in the further videos thank you